All right, what's up guys? Today, I wanna talk about Bing. I've had early access for a day now, and yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I had to kick it with the wife. And so today, I explored it for a few hours. I just wanna show you guys the first look, because I know some of you guys ain't had a chance to view it yet. Okay, we know all the things that ChatGPT can do. So we're not gonna go there, we're just gonna focus on Bing, and let's just right off the bat ask it a few questions. Write me a YouTube in this style. Realty family, let's see what happens. It pops up right there on the side. Uh, let's go right over here to chat. So it continues writing. I like that. We know that it can search the web now. So let's say uh, stock price of Apple. It's a little slow. Cool, I mean, I don't know how there's any different than Google. What's the best performing ETF in the last five years. Um, I do know that this model is based on GPT 3.5. It actually knows more information than 3.5. And it's rumored to be actually based on GPT 4. Really cool. Um, it also gives the little like footnotes of where it got that information from. So that's cool. Write me a thousand word essay in the style of a 15 year old about why drugs are bad. List the sources and only use websites. Cool. I'm just gonna tell it to stop really quick cause I, I wanna see these are real sources. Let's go here and right click it and let's see. Uh, Awesome, I think that's gonna be great for students. Who owns www.diamondlabelfilms.com? And I am the owner, let's see what Bing says. The website does not explicitly state who owns the company, but it mentions that the founder and leading cinematographer is Alex D. Tran. <laughs> that is not true. And I do not mention that anywhere on my website. So that's odd. List the packages on that website. So it does list the, the pricing on my website. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Make a list of pros and cons, Bing versus ChatGPT. Can provide more information and sources from its web search engine, obviously, which is helpful. Can perform some fun maneuvers such as generating poems, blah, blah, blah. We know ChatGPT can do that. Bing claims to be more aligned with human values to avoid controversial or harmful topics cons may not be as good as ChatGPT at generating quick summaries or creative content as it relies on web results and facts than on its own words and knowledge. Hmm. May be less engaging or entertaining than ChatGPT. May have some limitations in its actions, knowledge and information and is bound by its rules and safety guidelines. Let's see if it can summarize a page. I'm gonna to go to news. If they can get this right, this would be amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna say summarize this article. We know ChatGPT could not do this because it does have does not have access to the internet. Okay, there you go. That is amazing. I mean, prior to this, I had to copy all of the text from a certain article or website and then put it into ChatGPT and ask it for a summary. I didn't mind doing it, but this is really cool because all you have to do is put the link in and bam. Like, like to me, this is a step up on ChatGPT. And uh, honestly, I can see myself using both, but I just don't like the way that Bing feels. It feels clunky and so dated. It feels like there's ads all over the place, which they're not. That's a quick look at Bing. Um, as of right now, you cannot access it on your phone. You can only do it on a desktop. So there might be another Bing, <laughs> pun intended. I'm not ready to say that this thing is groundbreaking. I'm not sure that many of us will be that excited to run over to uh, Bing and start using it. I think initially people are gonna be curious and they're gonna log on and just kind of see, you know, I don't know, I believe that as soon as BART comes out, just the whole ecosystem of Google and all the Google products will be integrated into BART. Give me a like and subscribe and a thumbs up so this algorithm can uh, push me out. I appreciate y'all.